Yo, 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 what do you do, guys? What's crack like? And it's your host, Gorilla Bear Tech, with another product review. And this time, guys, it's a product review of another coffee maker. Now, this is called the True Single Serving Coffee Maker, or aka Brew System. And uh, this one's red in color. It's mostly made out of a uh, composite plastic, some type of plastic. It's made very cheap. And it's got some, uh, from what it feels like, here's some stainless steel, silver. Some big TRU branding right here. Okay. And uh, this is going to be a quicker review, guys, of this coffee maker. It's not an unboxing. It's more of a review. And I'm just going to show you guys what you get with it and how it performs. On a scale of 1 to 10, I think it's great. I think it's about a 7.5. It's fair, you know, 7.5, 7.5, almost 8, about 7.5. Reason being is that it's kind of slow when it comes to brewing the coffee and I'll demo it for you guys and everything, okay? Now, this is the box, okay? And it says that it brews both capsules and ground coffee, so those are your two options. You're kind of limited to, uh, you're kind of limited in comparison to the Keurig K Elite C, okay? That I did a uh, unboxing review comp on, all right? Now the coffee mug is not included, of course, it just shows it as a display in the picture right there and you can see it does uh, use K-cups once again. So you can brew your favorite capsules, brew a superior cup of coffee every time with this single serve brew system, extract the full flavor from each capsule for a delicious cafe quality cup of coffee. All right. Once again, I did not pay for this. This is not mine. I don't own it. I actually don't know the price of this. But I felt like, hey, why not do a review on it since I've used it few times all right caps on ground coffee it's model pound sign zm-1177 rd there it is it does caps on ground coffee one touch controls and has a removable drip tray which is right there and it is very easily removable i'll show you guys everything okay now from top left to bottom Got true branding once again, interchangeable adapters, okay. Brew chamber release is right there at the top. Then you got your flip top water reservoir, all right, towards the back. It's a diagram of what it looks like once again. Bottom left, removable drip tray, and it points out everything, which is great. Very simple to use, guys. I love this coffee maker. It's, not, it's nothing in comparison to the Keurig. Obviously, the Keurig KLHC or the older Keurig that we had. And uh, it's not as good, of course, but it's still good. It takes a lot longer to make coffee. It takes about, I'd say, a good five to seven minutes to brew. All right, maybe eight to nine at most. But, you know, around eight to ten minutes, the coffee will be ready. All right, one-touch controls. Here's the top of it. And uh, if you like it, go check one out for yourself. Go pick one up. I don't know where they sell them, but... You can find them at your local grocery store. All right. Shows you everything right here. Now the brewing button is this one right here. That's what it looks like. Then you got your removable filter basket. One touch controls. All right, your favorite coffee your way. Be your favorite single serve capsule or ground coffee. Tea and hot chocolate too. One cup at a time. But yeah, it's very easy. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyways, y'all, that's what it looks like at the top. Bottom is right here. For household use only. Okay. There's a drip tray right here. Easily comes in and out. That's where all the dirt and everything gathers up water, coffee, uh, coffee grounds, you know. Very simple to clean, removable tray. So it's just like that. You push this button in at the top, automatically pops open. You already got a filter in there where, well, you know, we've used it, so you got a filter right in there. So once you put the coffee in there, you just start it, shut it, make sure it's plugged in, and then hit one of these buttons. All right. And once again, that's the brew button at the top. So you just get two options. 
It's a single one touch, so once you hit it, that's it. You set it in and forget it. It takes about five to 10 minutes to brew and that's it. And uh, water reservoir right here at the back. It's a very small water reservoir right there, rectangular shaped. Holds about half to a full water bottle. Once you put the coffee in here, and then the water in here, you just push one of those buttons and that's it. That's basically what it looks like. <clears throat> that's about it, guys, all right? Very simple to use. Here's the box, here's the instructions, and you get another filter right here to put the coffee in. And it shows you right there, max. So that's the highest you can go. All righty, here's the instruction manual right here. Single serving brew system. Once again, the model right there at the bottom right hand corner. Yeah, a nice diagram also comes in black and silver. All right, I don't know the other colors it comes in. I think it's just two colors. So you can look it up online, guys. Always consult the website. Make sure to pause the videos and to read things for yourself if I don't go through everything 100% like you expected me to, which I do apologize, folks. Important safeguards, save these instructions, and always read the instructions, guys. Okay, please, always read the instructions. Like I said, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this coffee maker about a 7.5. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. It's very simple to use. My big con is that. My only real big con is that it just takes longer to brew, okay? But other than that, coffee still tastes great. About 185 to 192 degrees, maybe a little bit more. And yeah, guys, that's about it. You get the instruction booklets, you get two filters, one in here, which is in here already. You get another one, all right? And um, I think you get three of them, actually. I think you get a K-cup one, too, because it shows that you can use K-cups right here. But anyways... I didn't notice it on the box, guys. Oh, right here, capsule holder. Okay, yeah, so simply drop a compatible beverage capsule into the capsule holder. Close the lid to pierce the seal and press the capsule brew button. Okay, so you just stick it in. You obviously, you would have to push this button in. Now I'm echo those up. You would remove the filter in there to use that option, all right? From what it seems. All right, folks, other than that, hope you enjoyed this product review of the True single brewing brew system all right coffee maker once again you can do hot chocolate and uh it says right here pause and read this for yourselves guys all right Chocolate tea and coffee. How do y'all take care?